What's going on? How y'all doing? So old Joe Biden went to Tulsa, went to go speak, acknowledged the massacre 100 years ago, mentioned about the disparity in pay and so on and so forth, but he ain't saying nothing. I told you before and I'll say it again. I don't have a horse in the race because I'm tired of old white dudes coming in trying to tell people Talk to black, talk at black folks, not talk to. See, when you sign up with some legislation about reparations, when you start down refunding the police, George Floyd's girlfriend said it best: refund, to give you your money back, give you your job, give it back. We don't want you no more. You have to do some real steps. You'll never have financial balance in America. Are you crazy? You white folks will never go for no balance in America because they don't because they can't share. You see what the mask and the pandemic then brought up. Imagine if they had to share this country. Imagine they had to be taught the history properly, not the whitewash job. Imagine if Wall Street was incorporated like Black Wall Street. Imagine if you had to have black ownership and Hollywood to entertainment to all forms of life. Imagine the white towns were forced to really, really integrate and not do what they want. Because you see, every place in America could turn black if the powers to be wanted to. They could have real integration. Mm-hmm. You offer the right money. You offer the right possibilities. You ride, you get rid of these laws. You take these good old boys out of the system. You can flip. Joe Biden is just setting himself up for an obvious fall and a flop. You know. He ain't done nothing before, but now he feels like he gonna say something, do something. Ain't nobody gonna pay him no mind. None of them have done nothing as far as common sense stuff. Common sense stuff is like if you're sitting behind a civil rights bill, that's a piece of paper documentation. So common sense would say we're going to look into everything, the way the laws are structured, housing is structured, medical is structured, education is structured, common sense stuff. You don't need to stand behind a lynching a hundred years ago with a few surviving members and talk talk. What you need to do is have reparations. What you need to do is have an anti-black law. What you need to do is go out to these racist police officers, change the behaviors. What you need to do is go into the school system and tell them to turn up, burn up them pages, burn up them history books, and start with African-American history every month. Not Black History Month in the shortest month of the year, but every month. And learn about somebody new black every single day when you take history class. Oh, you have many innovators and many groundbreakers. But who's going to do that? Who's going to refund the police? Who is going to eliminate all these penitentiaries being built? Who is going to eliminate institutionalized and systematic racism in every building known? Forget COVID for a moment, the pandemic. Why would you even want to go in anybody's building? Because all these buildings got some form of a bias Go to Barnes and Nobles, right? They have the African American book section. Now you might say that's good, but the Barnes and Noble that I used to go to, that was all the way towards the window to the far left inside of the building. It's everywhere. Black hair care product at Walmart, you got your nice little section. Black cards, nice little section. See, you can't make this up. So he could sit there and give all the lip service he want. But you got to sign the papers. And you got to go through the white opposition, GOP, and some of your Dixiecratics. They not going to hear. They just a nice lip service. It's a lot deeper than that. It's a lot deeper. And if you ain't gotten it right for over 400, 500 years, you sure ain't going to start today. If it took this long just to acknowledge Tulsa, what you going to do? 
about them other places where black folks were ran out of. Because I can show you any small town that looks lily white now was once upon a time had black thriving businesses all across the United States. But they're not going to teach you that in school. And they're not going to legislate to make this the rule. So I don't need some old white dudes sitting up here talking about black folks, what they've done, what they're going to do until you sign anti-black laws, till you change, till you clean up the history books, clean up the police departments, get them reparations, take care of all black folks properly, make America worth living in again, because it has never been fit to live in. This country is not fit to live in if you're black. Because if you got to still think about the Jim Crowisms, and you're still tied to a link to a past that's not that long ago, then you have to ask yourself, what have they done for you? And if there was a, not saying you're going to find euphoria, but if there was a place that you could find your place and not go through this mess, I'd say seek it out. Because they have not done right by black folks in America. And all that lip service ain't nothing. They know what they need to do. A lot of talk, but no action. Please hit the like, hit the subscribe, button, welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another, and uh, don't let these politicians talk the talk. Make them walk the walk. Let their money do the talking. Because this time, that's how you hit back. You got to hit them in the pockets. I'm out.